All right, so here we've got a Craftsman lawn tractor. This one I believe is from 1999, and it uh, it's been sitting for a couple of years. The guy that did own it said that it it just stopped working and um, didn't feel like messing with it anymore. So it sat in front of his garage for a couple of years, and I finally got it. And we're gonna figure out what's going wrong with it. Uh, first thing that I did was drain the fuel system. It had water in the gas system, and it allowed the water to get into the carburetor where things got a little rusty and all that so everything has been drained and I've cleaned the carburetor and that works out well but he suggested that the some kind of a safety switches were not working in and I tested and found out that the brake safety switch which is down here um, did not work and um, the PTO switch for engaging the PTO clutch did not work. I've replaced those, but there's one more thing that I want to show you. It's called a relay. And usually in here somewhere is something that looks like this. This is the relay. So I'm going to show you how to test that. See if I can unplug it with one hand here. Right, so in order to test these relays, I have a good one here and I have a bad one here. And I'll, I'll demonstrate with both of these. In order to work these, you have to have them powered up. So I have here a brand new, fully charged lawn tractor battery. And you see I have a test lead. One on the positive terminal and one on the negative terminal. Be careful not to touch these, these two connections together while the battery is um, connected to them. So first thing I'm going to do, I'll just grab this first terminal. can't remember if that's the good one or the bad one. And we're going to take one of the alligator clips and we're going to connect it to one side like so. Okay. And then when you connect the other side and add power to it, you can hear the click. Okay, so that's the good one. Okay, so we connected that, and now that relay is energized. Now, another tool that you'll need for this is a multimeter. This is a Klein Tools multimeter, it's pretty much automatic, and I want to, I want to. That is the ohm meter for co checking continuity. And I'm going to put it on so where I can hear it. So now if you connect the leads together, like so, that's showing there's a continuity between the wires. And that's what we want to check on this relay. Is for continuity. Okay, so here we've got the relay is is uh, wired up and ready to go. And now there's three terminals here to look at, and the top terminal and the bottom terminal with the switch in the open position like this, we should have continuity between this top terminal and the bottom terminal. You can hear that. Okay, that's a good sign. Now if we disconnect that and we try that again, we got nothing. But if we touch this top terminal and the middle terminal, we have a connection. That's a good sign. And just to make sure that if we touch the, the bottom two, nothing happens. That's the way it should be. So again, these two and then the top and bottom terminal so that's a good working relay
Now let's hook up the bad relay. First things first, hook up the power. And you'll notice right away, there's no click. So this is not doing anything here. There's no power. So we already know it's a bad relay because of that. But just for giggles, we got nothing there. We do still have connection there. But that's even with the power connected. So we know this relay is bad. So it's just again, just for giggles. We got nothing. And so we know that this relay is bad. So um, you can get these pretty inexpensively. I think I just ordered a couple of these, a pair of these off the internet. Ten bucks for the pair, free shipping. So Again, just keep in mind that this is one of the things that could go wrong with your lawn tractor or your lawn mower. Pull out this relay, test it if you suspect that it's not working. Alright, thanks for watching.